this artificial intelligence lets you speak with any, and I mean any celebrity voice in real time. Just tremendous, real time. But the question is, who really is considered to be a celebrity? Turns out, you can train any voice you want, even your own, and we'll look at it later in the video. Now you all listen up. As you can see, it doesn't sound exactly like them. You know why? Because you can't change the voice, but you can't change the way they deliver their lines. Okay, so let's get ready, because we're going to show you exactly how to set it up, train those voices, and get the perfect ones. I am not sponsored or affiliated with this AI platform. Neither I have done enough tests to recommend it. So use it at your own risk. Back to my voice. So all you need to do is to go to the website called voice.ai and simply download it. At the moment, it is free, kind of free. We'll get to that later. But the only drawback is at the moment of recording this video, this is only available on Windows. If you scroll down, you will see other platforms as well, like iOS, Android, Windows, and Mac OS. But if you click on them, you will see this is going to be available. So that's good news. So if you click on Mac, sorry, iOS, you do have an option to pre-order. So once you install it, you'll see something like this. The very first thing we would do here is set our audio input. So whatever your audio input is, maybe it's your mic with your audio interface, maybe it's a USB microphone, maybe it's a headset microphone, whatever that is, set that as an input right over here. And the next step is figuring out what mode you want to be in. So there are two modes. One is the record mode, where you record your audio, it's gonna process it and give you a file. The other one is live mode. This is more for streaming. So it's gonna change your voice in real time. So let us start with the recording mode. Let's set it to recording mode and you can change which voice you want to change your voice to. So by default, let's say this is the voice. You can click on it to change any voice you want. Now keep in mind, not all the voices would be available. We'll get to how to train voices, how to make them available later. But for right now, whatever voice is available, you can go ahead and choose that. Click on Use. So let's try recording something. Hi there, this is Unmesh from Piximperfect. I hope you're having a great day and making it a beautiful one. Let's stop it. Hi there, this is Unmesh from Piximperfect. I hope you're having a great day and making it a beautiful one. Let's stop it. Voice.ai. So as you can see, there's a watermark in there. Now you can choose to remove the watermark, but I think you have to pay extra for it. The other mode is live mode. Now this is going to be a little experimental. My voice can break. So I'm sorry, bear with me a little bit. So let's go ahead and switch to live mode. It changes voice real time. And as it does that, there can be a little bit of lag. Actually, there can be a lot of lag depending upon this slider. If you set it to faster, the lag between when I speak and when you hear will be short, but there will be a lot of artifacts in the voice. The quality would be much lower. If you set it to better, the quality would be higher, but there will be a lot more lag. So for fun, let us set the voice to Donald Trump right here. Now I'm gonna start it. You will see how much delay there is. So right now I'm speaking in the voice of Donald Trump. I'm not sure when you're going to hear the audio. I'm not sure how much of a lag there is going to be, but I'm hoping that the lag is going to be pretty reasonable. But I'm guessing that with better, the lag will be pretty high. Now let us decrease this slider and now let's see how the quality is all the way to the left. So this is what you're hearing. I don't know how many artifacts you're going to hear. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. So I don't know what you heard and how it sounded, but this is the demo. Now let's talk about one more thing. If you go to record mode, you would realize that there is a limitation and that can be an issue. By the way, you can also go ahead and select a file for upload as well. But with the files as well, there is a limitation. Maybe if you pay, this limitation may be lifted. For example, if you want to remove the watermark or choose a higher audio, it asks for beta pro. Maybe this will remove limitations. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Speaking of restrictions, you know where you can find incredible music for your videos without any restrictions? Epidemic Sound, the sponsor of today's video. Even when you have a huge library of thousands of tracks, finding the right music for the right video is always a struggle. With Epidemic Sound, you can filter your genre, subgenre, and even the mood to exactly pinpoint what you're looking for. And the best part is having separate tracks. As you can hear, the drums in the background might be distracting you. So I can just turn the drums off. That's it. The rest of the music is still going on. It lets you download separate instrumental and vocal tracks of the same song. Do keep in mind that Epidemic owns all the rights to their music, so you'll never have copyright issues in the future. Besides, of course, all the music is produced by professional musicians. Check out the link in the description to receive a free one-month trial. 
Any videos where you use the music during this trial period will remain safe and protected even if you cancel the subscription after your trial month is over. So how do we get other voices? This is where it begins to get a little iffy. So you have to click on in here, you will see not all voices are available. You have to train them and training them costs something. You can make it free, let us take a look. So there's a lot of voices here. You can also create your own voice, we'll get to it later. Let's say we want Samuel L. Jackson. So all you need to do is to click on train. By the way, if you have already trained a voice, for example, I got this Obama one, use will show up when you hover. So all the unavailable voices, it will show train. So click on train. Now it's gonna cost you 4,600 credits or coins to train it. Let's spend that for this video. Once it has finished training, you'll see them activated. You can also look at trained tab to see all of the voices that you have trained. So right now this one is training. So all you need to do is to click on use. You can also rate it. Hi, this is Samuel L. Jackson. Let's see how my voice has been replicated. Hi, this is Samuel L. Jackson. Let's see how my voice has been replicated. So how do you get these coins or credits to train voices? There's a free way, there's a paid way. All you have to do is to click on plus and you will see the prices of all of these. Now, if you want the free ways, click on earn free credits. There are three ways. You can invite your friends and everyone you invite, you get 5,000 coins. The second one is you can join their Discord server, but then again, it's just 500 coins. And then here is the main one. It uses your computer power to train the meta model and in return, it gives you credits. So if you click on the I button, you can read what it does. It actually uses your computer power, in other words, electricity. So you're indirectly paying for it anyway. But then again, if you're in PG or if you're in a hostel, a college dorm, a hotel where you don't have to pay for electricity, you can just start training now. And as you can see, it starts using your computer power and it gives you two to 15 credits per minute. So I don't want that. So those were some of the ways you can go about it. And if you want to try it out, use my link right here so that I can get some coins and probably make more videos in the future about it when it gets a lot of updates. So uh, I'll be thankful. Now here comes the big one. Can you create your own voice? Can you train your own voice so that when anyone speaks, they can change their voice to yours? Of course you can. And this is how. If you click on it, and if you click on my voices, I already have created two voices of my own. You can click on create your voice. As usual, you can upload your avatar. So I'm gonna go with this one, hit open. You can crop it, let's crop it. Let's name it Unmesh Testing 2. You can choose the language right here and choose whatever category you want. Cartoon, television, politician, whatever. So I'm just gonna go ahead and choose real people. Now here's an important one. Do you want this voice to be available for everybody or do you want to keep it unlisted? So you can choose it right here. So if it's publicly available, you cannot make it unlisted or private again. So choose what you want. You can choose the tag, mail, and whatever other tags you want and click on save. Now after you do that, you have the option to upload your audio files for your speaking. 15 minutes is recommended. Make sure the audio is clean. So I have some audio recordings. I'm gonna upload all of these. So right now three audios are uploaded. Six minutes, five minutes each. So about 15 and you can click on build. So now it is currently building the model. It can take a couple hours, even more, depending upon the traffic probably. Once I did it, it took me about four or five hours and it was done on that day. Either way, you will get a notification in your email when it finishes. And when it does finish, you'll be able to see it right here. So this is the one that I had created before. Let us try it. Now to input, we have another audio right here and this is also something we created with AI. Let's take a look. Today, I'm going to share with you how to use curves in Photoshop. Curves is one of the most versatile tools ever. There you go. Can't believe it was created with AI, right? It was. If you're interested in a video about it, let me know in the comments. So let's select that file, click on this. Let's upload this audio. It didn't Today, work. I'm going to share with you how to use Curves in Photoshop. Curves is one of the most versatile tools ever. Well, that failed. I think I may have to train it a little more. May have to put hours and hours of voices. There are a couple of voices that have 100 hours of training. So we'll, we'll probably have to take a look at that. So with the gravity of things it can actually do, and this is, by the way, just only the beginning, this can seem a little concerning, right? There can be a lot of things people can use it for, a lot of good things and a lot of not so good things. Let me know what you think about this technology. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss any other future tips, tricks or tutorials. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.